Alright, hello. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, a little bit of a milestone day today. Um, it's the one year anniversary of Heavy Paint on iOS. So, that's kind of excited, exciting. Um, I should have planned this better and like had something more special, but uh, I've been I've been pretty busy working on um, kind of redoing a lot of stuff. So actually, it is. I guess I did do something for for the anniversary. Okay, so let's let's see what's going on. Let me open up the new version. This is a I'm calling it a beta. This 146 oils beta. It's on the um, it's on the uh, what you would call it Dropbox or the link below. And uh, there's a lot of UI stuff here that's different. I mean, wait, why is this thing here? Okay, let me show you. So first of all, the buttons now are they look similar but the uh, the plus button here gives you all the tools like every single tool in heavy paint is here and uh, here let me just turn these on for a second okay so all the tools are here and you can see that some of them have this little pink thing on them now which is uh, sort of a favorite system so if you start to uncheck these it unpins them from the top um, hey Michelle. Oh, thanks guys. Um, <laughs> so we can unpin and customize this stuff now. And, uh, and people have been asking for this for a while, and I was being just kind of putting it off because it's a pain in the ass to do. But now it's done. I'm very happy with it. You can even pin like way more than you should be able to. <laughs> and then it becomes a horrible mess. But at that point, you're like kind of defeating the whole purpose of having favorites okay so let's go back down I'm still uh, working on it also there's per tool settings now so like if you if you hit this little plus thing it gives you the the oil settings right here so you can tell it to use one of these other textures and I think that's better it's a little bit smoother so let's see uh oh. Did I just lose it? God damn it. I'm really good at losing pictures that I need. Ah, here we are. So I also changed this top button to be a plus. I don't know. I I, I never liked that three dot icon. It's kind of hard to see it. But anyway, let me try to make a little quick painting here but yeah I think I think this is better it's it's a lot simpler because before like things were just kind of scattered around a little bit so I'm, I'm happy with this one this brush is pretty cool the chisel and the oil so we can start doing like this kind of thing He's trying to get the overall colors in here. Um, hey Wayne. <laughs> what do you think of the chisel? Wayne, this is this is your brush here. Um, so let's see. So you can, yeah, it, whatever. I, I noticed that like some people uh, obviously have different preferences for which tools they use the most. So now you just customize it. You make it how you want. Like I know some people that only like to use line and mixer. So you could literally have just just line, just mixer. 
and do your whole thing here. You can even, there's also hardcore mode guys, like from the last release, so you could say, turn on hardcore mode. It, that gets rid of your undo, redo, and, and eyedropper for you people that love to, uh, love pain. And now we only have like two buttons, or, or here, let's go, let's go the maximum minimalism. Just, just that. That's all we got. So I, th I think that's kind of cool. You can sort of make this however you want it to be and go crazy with it. But me personally, I, I will probably want a couple, uh, at least a few of these. Um, chisels, good. Oil, fixed, fill texture. I've been using these texture brushes a lot lately. Uh, and maybe fill less. So. The other, the other thing it does is, the sometimes the names of these, like fill texture and fill lasso, both start with F. So if it detects that you already have a brush with, you already have a tool that's called F, it's gonna rename the second one, um, fill lasso, because you know to differentiate them. Um, I don't know if it should rename the first one. Maybe it should rename the first one too. Eh, anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, and Multiverse, this is, <coughs> this is out now. You can download it. It's at the uh, link in the description. So just, yeah, go check it out. I, I'm, it's kind of beta right now, so I'm still trying to get, um, you know, get people to use it and see what they think and if there's anything that needs to be changed before going into mobile. Because, believe it or not, publishing on mobile is a pain in the ass. <laughs> they make it super annoying. So I'd rather have it good on desktop first. Let me make this um, lefty. I'm lefty. Oh, another brush that um, has just been added for this version is the uh, line corner. And let me show you what line corner does. So let's go over here. Line corner. It makes a gradient um, according to your stroke. So you can kind of like you know, this would be probably good for pipes and shadows. Maybe we have a shadow under this uh, roof top. Oops, and it goes based on direction, so you can either go this way or you can go that way, depending on which which direction you're moving. Yeah, so this is nice for, for roofs and stuff. You can also put textures on this. So you can say, you know, I don't want a gradient, I would rather have this and then or like that. Oops. Like this. So you kinda like stretching your texture wherever you want it. Let me try uh Where'd it go? Line corner. I'll, I'll save. I'll pin that one too. Oops. That's kind of cool. Um, I think we can also tell line corner to no rotation. Ah. Oh, I need to fix this. It should be able to like skew, but I think I uh, messed that up somehow. Oops. Okay, pretty desaturated in there.
Hey, thanks Kamash. Kamakshi. How old am I? Um I guess I could tell you, but no, I don't know. I'm I'm not fourteen if that's what you're asking. <laughs> I know that uh, that's how old I look. Let me see. I think this chisel is really nice for buildings. Oops. Because it, man, it lines up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to play around with this thing. Um, I heard a lot of comments that the the UI was just getting a little bit too... It's like over overgrown and there's just too much stuff and it was a little kind of disorganized. So I wanted to take time and like step back and just re redo it, reorganize it, make it so that it sort of makes sense, <laughs> hopefully. Um, that's the idea and, and it's good because like I some I, I like I can't really tell what's going on because I um I live with this thing all day so like I can't really judge it anymore so it's good when you guys tell me like hey this thing is stupid or that thing is you know, because I'm used to it, so I don't notice these things. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting this color back here. I think that's more green and darker. Okay, so are there any other weird tools that have been added in here? Let's see. Fill gradient, it uh, works the same as before, but you can add in different textures now to get different effects like that and like that. Or um, there's also fill texture which kind of gives you a, f a solid version of that. Um, like this, or you could you could give this a gradient, and then it'll do start doing weird stuff. Or maybe I guess that sort of turns it into a fill gradient. The difference is that with the fill gradient, the edges would be transparent. But with this regular fill, it's not transparent. I need to come up with better names for these because they're a little bit redundant. Like fill texture doesn't make sense because all the fill fills will eventually be able to have texture. So I need to come up with better names. I think naming stuff is like one of the hardest things about this project. I never know what to call stuff. Sometimes the most descriptive name is not the most appealing name, you know? <laughs> hey, 
Hey DD, how's it going? Um, yeah, I don't know if you just joined in, but it's it's a pretty big overhaul of of the UI here. You can like un unpin and pin tools to the to the uh, top. This little like angle thing is is a bit hidden. Maybe I need to figure out a better way either to teach how like to tell you that it's there or put it somewhere easier to find. I'm not sure. Do any of you guys use this, the angle angle control? I honestly don't ever use it. I'm I'm just using it now because of this um chisel brush goes well with it. Frank. Okay. I need to paint with a bigger brush size so that these don't get too stifled. But I like that we, we get the direction of the stroke too with this chisel thing. And then it's really easy to get slight variation in color and stuff. By just using the texture brushes. They sort of automatically do it for you. doing a pretty bad job of matching the photo but oh well I need to kind of give that up anyway don't want to be too too close to it uh, ooh, that white would be nice that white So I'll try to do it in order, so I'm not repeating the strokes, so let's go for that first, and then face in front. I could probably overpaint here too. Hey Charlie, glad to hear. Um, so, what what tools do you have up here? What's your what are your favorites? I'm curious to see what like the most common favorites would be. Um, maybe that'll come like down the line at some point.
all f nice yeah there's like there's fill guys and then there's line guys <laughs> uh oh url doesn't work um here i'll just paste it in chat here for you guys Dropbox. Do, 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 do. Uh, get a little behind the scenes where are we downloads where are you these are all the different versions or some of the older versions actually I, I stopped doing this but here we go this is the uh, this is the new one It's the caps. Oh, there's caps in the in the link. Hmm. How do I change the video settings? Edit. Oh. Shit, that is the caps. Oh, damn. How come no one ever told me this? Anyway, thank you. <laughs> uh, opacity is on the top. Although I'm thinking about taking this out because I don't, I don't really like it because it gets mixed up with the uh, angle. But yeah, you drag on the on the top half here, like this top top half. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, when, uh, somebody, when you have spinach in your teeth, and somebody's going to tell you that I like that analogy, because you guys rather somebody tell you, right, if you have something in your teeth versus not, right? This picture is pretty simple. You can give it a little test. Seems to be doing going okay. Damn, this should be called a roof brush. <laughs> it's it's uh, pretty good for roof. Let's see if we can... Change the rotation. I wonder if I could put this on pressure. Would that work? Oh shit, that works. Oh crap, okay. Yeah. 
There we go. Cool. Actually, that's pretty, pretty nice. I don't know why I haven't, haven't tried that yet. Okay. Can we import? No, there's no importing. Um, I thought about adding importing, but I decided against it because, at least for now, I, I think of this as kind of a studying tool. I don't want people to be tracing over pictures. But that might change in the future, who knows. It kind of adds to the, I guess the, um, like when you see a painting done in heavy paint, you know that no, that there was no picture imported. So you know that the person actually painted the thing, which I think is kind of cool. constantly thinking about like s students using this and how I don't know I want it to kind of make and I guess encourage good habits too um, oh whoa this is weird so it changes the size depending on how much pressure Holy shit, that's crazy. Do you see this, guys? Like, how? What? Okay, so depending on how much pressure you put is how wide the texture goes. So if I get... That's actually kind of useful. It's <laughs> another little accident. Happy accident. Let's see. So if we have a brighter color here. Dropper doesn't seem to be working all the time. There's some, something weird going on there.
Hello, A. Berza. Welcome. Thanks for the kind words. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Please include layers and transform. Yeah, maybe in the future, at some point. Right now, I'm, I still have a lot of stuff to do, like, even without layers. There's a lot of work. Work to be done. Improving. Improving what we already have, I guess. Where do you find the time to program these two? Well, I've been doing it full time, like, this is my job right now, so I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's not like I'm, um, yeah, it's not a side thing. This is my full-time work. But everything, it takes me a very long time to do things because I'm not a, really a programmer. I'm sort of learning as I go. But um, I'm enjoying it, having a really good time working on, on this stuff. Sub D Blender tutorial. That could be cool. I think that would be a good, a good next, next step. Cause all the tutorials so far, kind of avoid Sub D. It's a little, a tiny bit more advanced. Although, the uh, the soy sauce tutorial has has a little bit of Sub D in there. If you want to get your feet wet. And also the succulent, the succulent tutorial also on um, on my channel. You can just search it on YouTube. It's uh, like bl Blender succulent. It shows a, a tiny bit of sub D. It looks like I'm just going to do this entire thing with a uh, chisel brush. Man, it's hard, tough to get greens. Greens are so tricky. I think green is yeah, green is pretty difficult, huh? It always takes me a few tries to get get a green. if we combine this with like that. Oh shit. Oh dang that that's kinda good too. Hmm.
What do you think about Moi? I actually love the interface because it's a very simple but very refined interface. Like that, whoever the the guy who designed that is, you can tell they're using it a lot. So think things are very streamlined. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan. Moi is awesome. I'm not good at it. I haven't used it that much, but from what I did use it, I was I was really impressed by it. So, I mean, especially with these texture brushes, it's even more important to do things in order. So that you keep the, like, the directionality of it. I kind of like that. Hey, Vladimir, yeah, this is pen pressure. Um, sub D, using Blender. I recall from Collective Podcast that you have transportation design. Um, yeah, are you, are you in transportation design? Because I was, uh, I was in school for that and I, I guess I, secretly wanted to do you know work on a movie or tv shows and make spaceships and things like that so i just you know i went to the illustration department took classes or tried to take classes if, when they would let me on figure drawing and, and different stuff and I don't know. I just always had it on the back of my mind and then eventually it happened. But it wasn't They they're similar though. They're cousins like car design, any kind of design I feel like is sort of a cousin. And 
there, there's, there are pretty similar skills. And, uh, yeah, you just, I just, um, kept bothering the, the illustration department and, and then, then what happened? Then I came out to uh, Los Angeles for to work at Mattel, the toy company. So I mean, technically, I was I was designing cars, like toy cars, uh, Hot Wheels, and and then uh, ended up switching from that into animation. Since I was already out here, it kind of happened. Luckily, I guess. Uh, for pen pressure, j you just go to the bottom and click on here and then tell, you can tell the size to be pressure, you can tell you know, let's try scatter on pressure and see what happens. Or rotation? No. You can tell it to be on distance. So the farther away you go, the more it does it. Okay, I guess like a couple little windows and then we can call it probably maybe I want this to be no pressure Turn off scatter. So I'm just putting in the window frames by themselves, and then we can put the windows later. I'm not. I'm not trying to match. I mean, I am trying to match, but if things don't, like the numbers don't fit. I'll just fudge it like that and then what color? it's not black in there it's like grayish bluish I think Yes, I realize I have the urge and I'm trying to figure out how to proceed. Yeah, if you have the urge, then just start work working towards it. You, you can do it. Uh, there's lots of people that have done it and switched from different industries. And actually, it's a good thing because you'll be kind of like, I guess, um, you'll come at it from a different angle. And I think that's attractive to employers if they see somebody that's um maybe didn't go to the same school as everybody and you know just has a different perspective on it it's good so go for it actually a lot of the big names in entertainment industry were from different areas like there's lots of architects there's um there's uh Craig Mullins was car design as I'm sure you know and Sid Mead and Scott Robertson I don't think Scott was car design but I think he was product design so yeah there's lots of um industrial designers 
around. up the proportions on this one. But it's okay. Nobody will know. Except for you guys. Something more scruffy. bit darker. Hey Jaden, let's see, what models of Hot Wheels? I worked on this series called uh, uh, DC Hero Character Cars, I think. Hot Wheels DC. It was the first generation of these. I don't know where they are. It was these ones. All of these here. Oops. Um, yeah, I worked on all of those. And there's, I think there's a couple more, but... Yeah, they've... I haven't... I didn't work on any of the... Hot Wheels was had just started to do like the Toy Story cars. I think was their first line lineup that was like, oh, let's take these movie characters and make it into a car. And the Toy Story did really well. So then they they're like, oh, let's do it with DC. Let's do it with Marvel. Let's do it with Star Wars. And they just like that's all they do now. I I guess <laughs> they just make cars that are based on characters. Because I think kids don't really care about cars anymore. Do they? Like, if I was a kid right now, I, I don't think cars would be that interesting to me. Although, I, I love cars when I was... Um, when I was growing up. But cars, cars are becoming more and more irrelevant, I feel like. I don't know. How do you feel, um... Berza? 
I mean, I'm assuming you're you're you are a car lover if you're doing car design. But did any of your friends were like did a lot of your friends uh in s in school were they really into cars too? And I'm not talking about design school. I mean like just average um like people that are not in uh doing the design thing. Pen tilt rotation. Uh, no, we no plans for that yet. Actually, you know it. Actually, I can't tell because this this is not this doesn't have any tilt. So I need to buy a tablet with tilt probably. Although, maybe rotation on pressure would be cool. Like, what if you could control the rotate your tilt based on how 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 hard you're pressing? That actually might work. Yes, of course. Everything is coming to iPad. Uh, it's all... Every platform will have all the same stuff. Always. It's just that it takes time. Like, I need to... This is a beta here, so you guys... Like, I'm telling you, the if you actually use the thing, uh, it will go faster. Like, it'll come to iPad faster because I'll be able to figure out the problems, make the changes. The whole process goes faster, so... If you want it on iPad, then start using it on, on desktop. Sorry if I sound a little bit grumpy, but... Oh man, there's a lot of iPad people, <laughs> and they all want it on iPad right now. But it's a process, guys. I can't just do it right away. The other tricky thing is that, um, you know, when you make changes like this, and there's there's a lot of new features, there's new brushes, there's all these textures, there's a lot of things that can, I guess, go wrong. So <laughs> um, it becomes more complicated. And then also when you're saving, especially when you're saving a file, and it's got certain settings, and then you try to open that file, and then maybe Heavy Paint's like, oh, hey, where's that setting that I need? you don't have it okay let's crash so there's a lot of like backwards compatibility stuff that I definitely want to figure out on desktop because it's much easier to um, deal with that kind of thing on desktop versus on uh, mobile because you know mobile is like very kind of lock locked down sometimes they don't let you see certain things they don't let you access your files as easily so it's much better on desktop to do this kind of troubleshooting um.
My son found a car in another tech. I found some interesting designs. Uh, did you use Blender? No, th those were, um, I think they were modeled in some crazy software that they use at this at Mattel. Um, there's also engineering software involved because they have to make the molds and um, you know actually mill out molds and do draft angles and all that fancy stuff, which you can't really do in Blender. Gonzaba, Gonkazaba, sorry. What do you prefer, iPad or Wacom? I actually prefer the my phone. I, I use this um, Samsung Note, the Android phone. That's my favorite. But, um, yeah, either one is fine. iPad's cool because it's really portable. But the phone is even more portable, so <laughs> I, I like painting on the phone. Yeah, I use the the phone pen. You guys know the Samsung Note? It's like this phone that has a Wacom pen built in. It's really good. It's very underrated. I always tell every everybody they should check it out, but nobody listens. This is so fun. You gotta, you gotta hear it from somebody cool. Then, then they'll listen. You know. Wait, what? What is this? This is the one I want. There we go. Let's use gradient. These greens are killing me. I think they're darker in the foreground.
Let me put the pressure back on here. Hey, U.S. Votes. It's been a while. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh. Um, yeah, I have an S S9. It's I think it's good because it's um, it's way cheaper than the new one. I think the new one's like a thousand dollars, and then S9 is like uh, three hundred dollars something like that so and they're pretty much the same <laughs> where do you invest I don't know just download it and use it that's how you invest there almost there yeah it is it is pretty big it, it gets a little bit heavy <laughs> but man I love I love that phone though I, I use it a lot Okay. Yeah, the VR stuff looks is cool. There's one called Medium that looks really fun too. Those have really those programs have very interesting interface too. Cuz they have to sort of rethink everything since they don't have a keyboard. Or, so they they have to actually be a lot more efficient with their interface. Pretty challenging to do do all that stuff that you need in 3D, but just with like two controllers, I guess. It's really impressive. T L O U two. Well, I I mean I never played Last of Us, so I I don't really have any thoughts on it. I'm um 
I'm a, I'm a bit of a weirdo, I guess. I don't I don't really play any single player games. I don't know why. I just I can never do it. For me, games uh, have to be like I guess competitive for me to enjoy them. Um, like like a chess type of thing or Starcraft or whatever kind of a multiplayer game. Yeah. I'm sure I would enjoy it though. I just, I don't know, I haven't, um, I guess I just never sat down and gone through one of them. And I'm not talking about just Last of Us, I'm talking about like every single, single player game of the past 10 years. <laughs> like I haven't, I haven't played any extensively. What do you guys think of Last of Us? Am I missing out? Big time? I mean... Probably am. There's so many... Like, everybody loves that game. Huh? Um, any friend projects? I'm working on this project called Heavy Paint right now. Let me tell you about Heavy Paint, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm focusing full-time on this. So I'm not taking any freelance or anything. I'm just doing Heavy Paint. Beautiful game, most impressive visuals of this generation, and voice acting and animation are great. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. I, I, I saw the one like rope, the rope demo thing on Twitter where the guy was like, he had the rope and he was throwing it into the room and like wrapping it around stuff and pulling it around the windows and things. That looked pretty cool. That's kind of like just showing off. Look at us, we can have ropes. Pretty badass though.
All right, I think this is almost there. Wait, let me let me do this stuff back here. I think I'm. Uh, I'm liking this chisel thing. I'm probably going to use this a lot. So thanks, Wayne, for the suggestion. I don't know if Wayne's still around. He probably ran away to go talk to his girlfriend. Wayne. been an hour and 13 minutes I think less than my usual but I got some new ideas here I, let's see I want to add rotation for pressure let me write this down rotation pressure or do you guys see anything here that you would change or any suggestions other than layers I know I know about layers like that's on the list Rotation, pressure, and then there was some other stuff that I was missing. I want to change. Maybe the naming of fill texture. And I need to add texture to a lot of the older brushes to legacy brushes um, color jitter on fill halo or fill gradient oh really wait fill halo Oh, you want like regular fill type color jitter? I, I kind of took that off by on purpose because I thought it looked really weird. But that could be an option. Like you can maybe turn that on if you want. Um, cursor visual, like in Photoshop, you can see the outline of your cursor. Well, there's a cursor cursor here. Do you mean like an outline of the brush texture? Um. I'm not sure if I want that actually. Do I? Maybe I do. I'll think about it. Maybe maybe it would be a line. Instead of this like dot, it would be a line that you would control. Actually. That could be really useful for the line tool. Hmm. That would be really useful for the line tool because then you wouldn't need this uh, line offset. Oh, actually, you know what? No, 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 because mobile wouldn't be able to... Because on mobile, you can't see the cursor. That's the problem. Because you don't have hover. Mobile doesn't have hover. You won't be able to tell where your pen is. So... Um... Now I'm having se second thoughts about that. Because it would be cool to see like where the... Uh, I'll think about that. That's, that's an interesting cursor or brush tip preview. Tech brush texture cursor. I love a way to get heavy paint files into grease pencil. 
Oh yeah, I I thought about that. That that would be really. I think it's possible because it's it's really just points with color. Uh, with vertex color and UV, so it should be able to go into Blender. It would be nice to put one to one image button. What does that mean? Oh, like to have a square square composition crop. Actually, I I, I want that feature too for Instagram. Square Insta crop. Um, yeah, square would be great. Most of the time I'm using square. That's a really good suggestion. Uh, okay, do I, uh, what pen do you use? Dude, we, somebody answered that already. It's the S, the Samsung Note 9. It comes with the pen. You use, that's the pen. A reset bus button for the brushes to all default. Mm, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be something like, like this, where when you're, like, let's say you change the UI scale. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, it, when you change the slider, it would make a. Uh, it would make what you call it a reset icon pop up let me see if I lost it I wonder why this freaked out like that so see how it like when you change the slider it makes this reset thing and then when you click it it does like that so yeah it could be something like that when you change a setting Can go grandpa mode. Uh oh, these guys don't take the scaling. Let me write that down. Okay. Symmetry brushes. Yeah, maybe. That wouldn't be hard to do. I just can't think of a situation where you would use that in painting. That's a tricky one. Maybe. It's on the list, actually, of stuff to do. But what would you use that for, the symmetry brush? I find the current color indicator a little bit small you mean like this this one on the side here like this one up top um, DF like this square thing on the on the top, that's too small. Um, I could make it bigger, but I, I don't know. It's already a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I guess they could be wider. <laughs> Komachi designing symbols. Hmm. Well, yeah, maybe. All right, I'll think about the symmetry stuff. DF. If you change this UI scale, does it does it help it at all? If you make this bigger. But DF like uh, this this size doesn't change depending on the brush size. 
Yeah, maybe it just needs to be a little wider. But I feel like that's enough. I guess it depends on the, on the screen size. Okay. Well, you guys have heard me ramble long enough. I'm sure I'm getting on everyone's nerves. So let's cut it here. Thank you for joining in and for your suggestions. I'm going to keep working on this thing. Keep testing. And uh, yeah, let me know if anything explodes. And I'm excited to see what your what your favorite favorites up here are. Right now I've got what do I have? Chisel, line corner, fill lasso, rake, oil. Yeah. Alright. Well I'm gonna cut it here. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs>